The starting point of this bike ride is, well, pretty stunning. We're at 10,200 feet. We're at the top of Lizard Head Pass. From colorful flowers to colorful mountains, even on a cloudy, showery day, this is beautiful. It's a 16-mile old downhill, well, mostly downhill, trail. Here we go, riding the Galloping Goose Trail. We're quickly into some trees, then come up on a piece of history, making a stop at the Trout Lake Trestle. In the late 1800s and early 1900s, steam engine locomotives rolled across the trestle. The Galloping Goose Trail was part of the Rio Grande Southern Railroad. And then from 1931 to 1952, a fleet of galloping geese ran between Ridgeway, Telluride, and Durango. Mail and passengers were carried in these unusual rail cars. Which were uh, these old Buick motor car conversions. The water rushes by as you step back in time for a moment, admiring the beauty of nature and imagining a train crossing over the old wooden trestle. Really cool to ride along an old train route. Back on the trail, next stop is historic marker number two. It's a historic water tower by Trout Lake. It provided water for trains and was a popular scenic stop for passengers. Time to cruise around Trout Lake. It's pretty even in summer showers. Through more trees, including aspens, then we're on the road for a couple of miles. Back on the trail, and we start the cliff riding part of the ride. This is just a taste. More trail, and we take a waterfall detour. The 50-foot Diane waterfall roars into a deep canyon through the spruce and aspen forest. Story has it a lonely silver miner was so inspired by the falls, he named him after his beloved Diana. Next, some single track riding and across a bridge. This is the steepest part of the trail. You can ride or walk it. Riding through ferns and aspens is pretty cool, but so is riding the rocky cliffs and taking in the beautiful view. Just stop kind of right where we are right now. And here's why. The view is amazing looking back at Ofer Needles and Ofer Valley. Glacier flow carved out the dramatic landscape of deep valleys, jagged mountains, and striking rock features, like Ilium Wall. In the wintertime, the Ames Ice Hose forms, which is a world-class rock climb only for the very advanced. A little more time on the cliffs, then Mark does the most technical part of the trail. But don't feel bad if you have to walk it. This is a great intro to mountain biking, but we're not quite done. There's a water hazard to ride through and this last little bit of single track before we get to just relax and cruise riding into the Ilium Valley. Jennifer Broom, Colorado's Best.